1946s Roosevelt dime with repunched mint mark and double die reverse, graded in mint state 67 plus full bands by PCGS. The coin is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its surfaces exhibit lustrous and mostly sharply struck features, accompanied by amber, rose, and olive green tones. Notable die doubling is evident, particularly on the reverse lettering and face value. Additionally, the mint mark S shows clear evidence of being punched over another S position differently. This specific coin was sold for $600 on December 5, 2023. Number 7. 1922 No D Cent with Strong Reverse. Graded as VF25 by PCGS, VF standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This circulated specimen was sold for $840. Number 6. A silver eagled with die adjustment strike. According to Heritage Auctions, mint errors on silver eagles are rare and in high demand. This coin was produced while adjusting the die during the installment of new working dies in the press. The dies were initially spaced too far apart, but much of the design was not brought up. The area of the date is among those not struck up, though the bottom edges of the numerals are visible the date is possibly 1987 or 1991, though an exact match is impossible. The coin is brilliant and satiny and lacks any severe abrasions. It was sold for $2,640. Number 5. 1952 D. Franklin half dollar in mint state 67 with full bell lines. The majority of certified 1952 D. half dollars are designated as full bell lines and that is unsurprising, as submissions are always value-based. PCGS has examined nearly 7,000 examples of this issue mostly in grades below MS-66. Grading totals at NGC parallel those at PCGS. This piece is an amazing superb gem with a bold strike, and it is tied for the finest that either service has examined. Both sides have brilliant, frosty luster within a light gold tone frame. It was sold for $6,600. Number 4. 1927s Mercury Dime in Mint State 67 comes with CAC approval. The 1927s Mercury Dime is scarcer than many other issues from the 1920s in mint state. Any coin grading finer than MS-65 is rare, regardless of the sharpness of the Fassi's bands. This is the sole finest non-full bands coin at PCGS and CAC, and it is numerically equaled by a lone NGC coin in the same grade. PCGS reports MS-67 full bands examples that are arguably finer. Brilliant, satiny mint luster complements the pristine surfaces. The Fassi's bands show near full definition. It was sold for $7,500 on December 14, 2023. Number 3. 1976s Bicentennial Quarter Overstruck on a Struck Cent. Graded as PR67 read by NGC. The Bicentennial Quarter was the sole design change to the Washington Quarter between its 1932 introduction and the 1999 advent of the State Quarter Series. It was struck in 1975 and 1976, though all examples bear 1976 dates. As a single-year type, off-metal specimens are very rare. In fact, a search of our online archives, which date to 1993, failed to find another proof Bicentennial Quarter struck on a cent planchet. This mint error was struck aligned with the collar die at 6 o'clock. The types are complete, though Washington's hair is mostly indistinct. Quarter dollar is partial and blurry. It ended up selling for $9,000. Number 2. 1925 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 plus read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1925 S. Lincoln Cent is scarce in Mint State with original red color. Choice examples are particularly elusive, and finer pieces are rare. This plus-graded near gem displays mainly copper-orange luster but also shows wisps of delicate rose and pale green hues. Only a few specks are present. Struck from worn dyes, as usual, with metal flow lines on the obverse. Evidence of heavy dye usage is more obvious on the obverse than the reverse. 
sold on December 14, 2023 for $11,400. Number 1. 1927 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. Full red examples of this San Francisco issue are challenging in any grade, and they are rare in gem condition with none numerically finer. This piece displays satiny copper orange luster and is well struck, though minor dye erosion is evident in the fields. Housed in an old green label holder. It was sold for $16,800. And there you have it, our exploration of 8 rare coins that could add both historical significance and considerable value to your collection. If you enjoyed this numismatic journey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more captivating coin content, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest discoveries. God's will, see you in the next episode.